guys my name is Irene Irene J and if it's your first time watching this channel thank you so much for dropping by become a part of this family by hitting that subscribe button right now and if it's your second or third time thank you so much for also dropping by again to watch another one of my vlogs this is a lifestyle and diary of a model so I'm so excited because I had so much love on my last video I'm really really grateful for all those of you who watched it who shared who you know reposted and everything i'm so grateful thank you guys so much for watching that vlog now i know what you guys like okay so i know that you guys love the lifestyle aspect of my life but there's also this side to me i'm a model and yeah i just like to inspire some people if you clicked on this video then you are definitely an aspiring model or you are an upcoming model or you are even a full-time model or part-time whichever one however it is you're shy a model or you want to become a model and you're either signed to a high fashion agency a commercial agency or you're not even signed at all you're just freelancing your way through this whole modeling thing either ways this video is for you and I bet you're wondering how can I make money how exactly can I make money from this modeling thing how can I turn modeling into a career how can I live off modeling like um, it pains me so much when I hear people say that oh modeling is just a side hustle for me or oh it's something I do part-time and all of that because personally I'm a full-time model and it's what I do is how I make my money and you know it's just so sad that people just you know downplay it a lot and i'm here to bring it to you that you can actually make money as a model so if this is like something that you're interested in knowing more about then definitely keep watching so if you want to make money from modeling and you want to be able to you know save money build a career build a life from it then you should first know the different types of modeling. So here in Nigeria, we basically have six common types of modeling. I won't say that's all, but that's, those are the basic types of modeling. And you should get yourself familiar with them so that you can know where you belong or where you fit in or what you can do exactly. There's six different types, like I said. There's commercial modeling, there's high fashion modeling, there's face modeling slash beauty modeling there's lookbook and editorial kind of modeling there's video shoots that's video vixens and there's the brand ambassador ushering slash you know activation kind of modeling so these are the six major types of modeling we have here in nigeria any other type of modeling is also part of it but probably might fall under any of these things so i'm going to explain each of these types of modeling to you so that you can know which one best to choose or if you're already doing it and you're not making money from it then you can now know how to make money from it so the very first one here is the commercial modeling and this involves prints tv adverts calendars anything any type of media newspapers any type of media that you can basically use to advertise a product or a service there are so many different types of commercials for different brands different products different services now, as a model, where do you come in? Obviously, you're the one representing the brand, you're the one advertising for them. Sometimes it's a product that you can actually hold and say, oh, this is what we're advertising, like a skincare product or a, a clothing accessory or something, and you're doing a commercial for it. Or it could be, it could be, you know, a service. Now, here in Nigeria, I'd like to say that commercials are one of the highest paid types of modeling. Usually from for a commercial job you get between maybe 800 k and above. Some get up as high as 200, 300, 400, 500, in fact 800. I don't think there's a limit to how much they pay actually. Because there's some brands that when they sign you as their brand ambassador you get a whole lot of money from them like every year. And that can go as high as 800 k one million naira, two million naira, depending on who you are and what brand you're working for. Now, I know you're already excited by hearing all that kind of money, right? Ah, I want to make 800k, ah, I want to make 500k. It's not easy because for commercials, you literally have to go for auditions all the time. Like, you can't sit down in your house and expect that you would know when 
an audition is coming up or when you know they're casting for a particular commercial or no so you actually have to know people now I'm, not, I'm going to make a separate video about how to get these modeling jobs but for now i'm just going to tell you about you know how to make money as a model next one is high fashion high fashion is you know your runway modeling anything that has to do with fashion designers anything that has to do with you know stylists but high fashion photographers and all of that that's what high fashion is all about you basically wear designers clothes you walk on the runway for high fashion model you're typically skinny you know between sizes of six and eight and you have to be tall at least five eight for girls and at least six feet for guys and high fashion has a whole lot of criteria and i'm not going to start listing everything right now but i want you to know that if you are if you fall within this category you could obviously make money from high fashion modeling high fashion here in nigeria is not something you want to say you want to live on totally because unlike abroad where they have different fashion seasons here in nigeria we just have one and it's kind of frustrating because you know if you if you're saying that you want to be a high fashion model and you're just going to be just that then you're going to be have to waiting for probably in the period of October to December when you have GT Fashion Weekend, you have Lagos Fashion Weekend, you have uh, Lagos Bridal Fashion Weekend, you know, so many fashion weekends that come up between October to December. You have Zenith, Zen, Star by Zenith, you have um, Access Bank Runway, you have so many other different types of, you know, brands here and there doing fashion shows and doing exhibitions for designers but this usually comes between october to december so what are you going to be doing the rest of the year between january and september what are you going to be doing i think arise comes up sometime in april april may and probably fashion finance but that's about it that's not enough to keep you going throughout the year and you know they don't even they don't even pay that much abroad you probably hear of models making so xxx amount of money from working for one particular fashion show because they don't pay for a fashion show they pay per designer so you say gucci paid so and so chanel paid so and so do you understand but here in nigeria it's not like that you're working for a fashion show and even if you work for 12 or 15 designers at a go they're going to pay the same amount of money as someone else that just works for three or four designers because you're getting paid per fashion show, not per designer. It's really competitive, and if you don't have an agency that's representing you, sometimes it's very difficult to get into the castings or get past the castings. So that's one of the disadvantages of actually saying you want to stick to just runway modeling or high fashion modeling. So you definitely want to open up your options to commercials or other things I'm going to list. Further. The third one is lookbooks and the editorials. Lookbooks and editorials refer to when you wear designers' clothes or you wear stylist clothing or stylist styles you, and you know, a photographer takes your picture and puts it out there for commercial purposes. So these types of models are usually like high fashion models, you know, except you're a plus size model, or they are high fashion models and they you know wear clothes and take pictures in them and they get paid for it for some people lookbooks could be very lucrative depending on the designer if you're working for someone like maya tafo you know lisa falario and the likes of them you definitely get paid well but the problem with that that those people usually use models that are assigned to agencies already so they just reach out to agencies and say oh i want a I want five light skin girls that are size six and an agency will just you know send them a lookbook of different kind of girls and they pick from there so hardly would you get a job from for designers like that if you are freelancing except you know designers personally or you are in a particular circle of people so if you're not signed to an agency you might want to get signed to an agency if you want to do lookbooks and editorial modeling the next one is video shoots this involves you know music video shoots for artists for example david o wants to do a music video for a song he just released and he's going to need models 
so this type of models they really don't have a restriction they really don't have specifications except the artist or the producer on set says he wants to so and so type of models so anybody really can be a video vixen most likely you are pretty you have a nice figure you have good skin and all of that and you can be a video vixen or you can dance you're probably a dancer or whatever and the thing about it is video vixen jobs don't come all the time sometimes in the whole month you might not get a video vixen job depending on who you know though so um like i said if you want to know how to get modeling jobs stay tuned for my next video because i'm going to be sharing all the juicy tips and secrets in there okay so for music video shoots basically you usually don't pay that much and depending on who you are in the video if you're the lead role you probably be getting something close to probably 50 60 70 sometimes 80k and if you are not the lead role you're just an extra or a featured extra you'd probably be getting 20 10 20 <laughs> usually between that range the next one is face models or beauty models these models are usually really pretty have really good skin you know have a nice smile have nice dentition and you know they just have nice features that makeup artists photographers would like to use them as their muse to recreate looks to portray a certain type of look to create something something really beautiful and you see you typically see them going for shoots almost all the time for makeup artists for you know bridal hairstylists for different things but they're basically just for face models they don't need to show their body or anything they just need to have a really good face and they need to be really camera friendly they can't be camera shy and as far as i know i don't really do face modeling it doesn't pay that much but people do it like if you're able to get so many jobs be able to have your foot through the door and know so many people you can get enough jobs to be able to carry you through but that is not enough to sustain you that's not enough to keep you as a model throughout the year do you understand you can't like pay rent and do all of that stuff based off of um face money the very last one is brand ambassadors slash ushers slash activation models these are a different category of models that you know brands usually use for their products or services they ask them to come around you know direct people when they're having a an occasion probably like a, a formal meeting a lunch a dinner you know people hanging out at the bar there's always like an usher somewhere to tell you this is what to do this is how to do it this is where the bathroom is you know they're always polite always smiling always telling you where to sit and where to go so those are what ushers do and ushers typically don't make that much money but they get jobs really really often so if it's something that you'd like to do you can go into ushering so i think ushering jobs typically pay between 8k 10k some 20k 25k there about so if you're lucky enough to get them like almost every other day i mean you'll be making some good money on a daily basis so i've listed all these things that you can fit yourself into one or two or three or all it depends on you I don't know but like I said the highest paying one is commercial modeling so you definitely want to try commercial modeling if you can there really isn't any age restriction size restriction you know anybody can be anybody and everybody in a commercial advert if there's somebody for the vulcanizer the driver the father the mother the grandfather grandmother children newborn babies anybody at all can be a commercial model as long as you're camera friendly you're really pretty or or not sometimes depends on what the client wants but yeah commercial modeling is really good and you can combine it with high fashion if you're slim like me which is what i do i combine commercial modeling and high fashion and because high fashion doesn't come all the time it comes just you know in a particular season of the year so throughout the year i'm basically doing commercial modeling i'm doing books and editorials i'm doing 
you know, all kinds of modeling except, you know, a shrimp and them. Occasionally I do, you know, face modeling and all. So yeah, these are ways that you can make money as a model here in Nigeria if you're able to combine them. So not. the last but not the least, you might be wondering how can I even get these jobs? Like, okay, now I know the types of modeling that they are and I know that I can make money from I can make money from this and that. But how do I even get these jobs? So stay tuned to my next video because i'm going to be telling you how exactly to get these jobs because trust me it's not easy out here it's actually a struggle but if you know what to do if you have the key it'll be really simple so thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you were inspired to be a model to continue modeling to start modeling whichever one and i hope it was informative for you you learned a thing or two and definitely want to watch my next video because I'm going to tell you how to make money as a model. Stay tuned. This is Irene, Irene J, and this is the lifestyle and diary of a model. Bye.